Um, so I suppose when we had been using the old school, um, the, the thing we realised was that uh, we could only ever have one activity in that room at one time and there was demand. Uh, as, as in any centre in the evening times there's always a number of groups that want to use the centre. So we applied to Leader for the funding and they were telling us that we could get funding for a multi-purpose hall but th that there wouldn't be funding available for a community centre. So we took the decision as a committee um, to actually put do plans for a community centre, accept the funding for the, for the multi-purpose hall but actually make it a, make a bigger shell so that over, over the years we would then develop it. We weren't quite expecting to develop it so quickly. Um, but in order to do that, we uh, were struggling to get the initial seed funding um, to start off. So we approached community members and we got 20 community members who loaned us 3,000 euros each because they believed in what we did. Um, lots of them were family and friends, lots of them were committee members, but it was people who actually could see the need for the community centre and also they believed in the committee and the organisation that was behind it. Um, and they could see that the purpose was for the benefit and the good of the community. Um, so we then uh, built the community centre. It was a long, arduous task, but we built the community centre and it opened in 2012. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, it's, I think it's one of those things where you still have to, you don't want to take your foot off the pedal. Um, it still takes a lot of hard work. Um, we've got a number of aspirations for the future. So we are currently looking at our governance training and um, we've actually um, in partnership again with the DLDC they're providing us with a facilitator so we're looking at how we do operate uh, and we know we do think some things very well but we also know there's a lot of room for improvement um, and you can always learn. Um, we also are um, developing a community garden out the back, um, we plan to look for charitable status, um, we're also looking about setting up a youth group so that the young people of the area can get involved in the committee so that they can be supported and nurtured and then they can become the leaders then um, of the future. Um, and then we've got a tennis court that we're developing out there as well. Um, and then anything else that people would like us to look for. Um, so we're, we're always looking for funding opportunities. Um, not just because the funding opportunity is there, it's also, it's more so about want, wanting to develop uh, what people want rather than just because you have a funding opportunity to get something. Um, so it's actually creating something for the area that you know will be of benefit to the area. I suppose with the work that we're doing at the moment with the governance training, uh, one of the things that we have learned, I suppose, is that uh, it would be a good idea at the start perhaps to try and target key community members who may already have skills in certain areas. So whether it be in finance, whether it be in architecture or health and safety, that those skills that they have naturally in their day job could then be utilised within the community group. Um, because that uh, we've got there, but we've got there quite a long, arduous, journey um, and there's lessons from that but there's times where sometimes it would be nice to get things done a bit easier um, so that certainly would be one of the lessons that we've learned um, also I suppose it's important to keep the, the committee fresh as well so it's very much about um, making sure that everybody's got a chance to have a voice and um, there's obviously some more experienced members in the committee than there is and there's also some new members so it's making sure that the new members feel supported and that they feel that they are allowed to express their voice, um, whether it be uh, against what the general consensus is, it's important that everybody has a chance to, to verbalise it and we're very democratic um, and yeah, so it, it, and it's a nice place to be.